Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Marina from Diamond Pain with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing amazing. I hope your weekend is great. So, we are safely in November. So, that means that the holiday seasons are up and coming. And But what better way to either give gifts or do something as a gift than to snatch up a couple of awesome kits from... A, a really good budget site. So Emily over at DP Club sent me an email asking me if I would like to show some items. And I said, sure, because I know how tough the holidays can be. And, you know, a budget, being budget conscious is really important, at least for me. So um, there's some really great prices. And I was able to pick out a variety of things to show you guys. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is some of these rose gold uh, metal tips or aluminum tips or metal, metal, not aluminum. So they have every size. So I picked out a few to show you. So I did get um, a single placer. It does come um, with, well, this one doesn't, but I think this one does, yeah. So this one doesn't have the O-rings on it. So hopefully it will fit snug. You might be able to order them. Um, so here's the single place right here. They're very, like they have a nice weight to them. I also got a seven placer right here. This one does have two O-rings, so hopefully it will fit nice and snug. And, the, and I also got a 10 placer, which has does have the o-rings as well on it so maybe the single placer doesn't come with it i'm not sure but the 10 placer because that 10 placer is my favorite they are the thin the thin ones i'll take it out of the bag to show you real quick or maybe not who with these nails on i might have to change from being team baggy who knows so yeah, they're not too heavy, but they're definitely durable. And as you can see up close, there's a skinny 10 placer. And I really love the rose gold. And I think they were on sale for 99 cents. Everything will be linked below. So it's a really, really um, good price. So we have four items. Does this keep falling? Like, hold on. Yeah, like, I feel like it keeps falling. All right, so we have four items, so let us get into this. I'm gonna do this one first. Um, it comes in, you know, a bubble mailer. I took it out of the original packaging so you guys didn't have to throw the crinkle, but this is another one of those foam signs. And it is special drill. So this, you get a um, toolkit with a tray, uh, some little pad of wax, the string, and a diamond painting pen. That's all you need. Let me know if this is falling, because I have to keep adjusting you, so I feel like it's falling, or it could just be me. Hold on a second, I do see it falling, hold on. Okay, I think I got it figured out now. All right, so here it is. I thought this was um, super cute. Once again, this is for Bella to decorate the front of her door. Um, and I got some command strip hooks for her to easily do it. I won't damage the door, but it says a feeling frosty. Um, and it's a partial and it's on the foam. Again, it is a little dirty, so that's weird. But I do like working on the foam with the special drills. This background is not right here. The fence, you do not drill, but just where you see everything on here. And then let's take a look at our drills because they are special drills and I always like to see them. So this is very, very simple. We have six colors. So we have some regular black drills and they are got that thin, uh, thicker line. So we have some black drills. We have some red crystals. We have some green crystals. We have some clear. We have some orange. And then we have some larger black faceted um, drills right here. Not AB or anything like that. And um, it, a little, it is a little bit difficult. Um, it's a little bit light on here, but see, this is number six. 
So you would find the number six on here and this would go on the feeling frosty part of it. So it would really stand out and then the rest go everywhere else. And then there is a hole right here and then one on the other side so you can um, hang those up. And this is going to be nice and easy to get back in the package. Um, so I can store it away. Now, um, I've said this in some of my other videos before that when you get these bubble sleeves to store them in, what I like to do is just write on the outside of it where I got it from and what it actually is so I can find it without having to go through every single one and uh, write it up. And I will show you because I have a pen right here. So all I do is right here put DP clubs and put feeling frosty door and that's it. I just write it in ballpoint. All right, next, we'll do this one. Now, some of them aren't as easy to open, but if you're gonna use a cutter, make sure that you are careful because these are usually right up to the tippy top of it and you don't wanna cut your kit. So here we have a diamond painting. Get all our goodies out, toolkit. Here's our drills, these are rounds. And this is a 30 by 40, and you know how much I love my retro kits. I absolutely love them. I think that they look classy. This is a nice canvas. It's thicker, but still pliable. Um, I really, really loved this one. If you guys missed my last video with my new retro Santa, I'll go ahead and throw that up there as well. So you see at the top, we have the thumbnail the item number and um, the size, it's a 30 by 40. So let us take a look. So we have our retro deer with ornaments in the antlers. Um, and this is Rudolph, I'm gonna assume because of the red nose. So we have, I'm gonna call this retro Rudolph. Um, don't worry about the creases, it's poured glue, it will come out. You can um, lay it under something heavy. You can also pull back the plastic to make sure um, to help it, you know, aid it and lay a little bit flatter. This has 22 colors in it. And uh, yeah. I'm some issues right here. But yeah, so we have two legends, one in the upper left and one in the lower right. It makes it super convenient. Um, there, this is like all color blocking. Like there's a couple colors on the nose, a little sprinkle on the deer's face and a tiny little bit sprinkled confetti in the ornaments. But other than that, um, it is all um, color blocking. All of it. For the most part, if I had to say. There's a few other little colors here and there, but for the most part, it's that. So let um, us look. These are all uh, regular drills. There's no special drills in here, but we have pink, we have burgundy, we have a bunch of uh, black, we have that white, we have the uh, off-white, we have a little bit of gray, um, we have some red in there, and a little bit of purple and orange. You can see the orange back there. And that is that one. So I really like that one. Oh, I didn't show you guys the uh, symbol clarity. You might have already seen it. But it's really, really clear. And these are all sticky. But I, on this one, I will check the stickiness. But the other ones, I'm not going to. It's, they are really, really sticky. I think for all these budget fights, I had one that was not as sticky in part. So we'll put that over there. We'll save a bigger one for last. Get into this one. We've got some fun things planned for December, so I'm really, really excited about this. All right, we have another kit here. And this is some Scott Special Drills, our kit. 
This is a 30 by 30. I, yeah, this is a little snap size, 30 by 30. And this is special. All right, and it has 13, 14 uh, special drills on it. And I believe that Christopher unboxed some of these similar ones uh, a while ago on his channel. I believe, see, I think that's where I remembered. But I really am excited about this one. This is um, a stocking, and I just think it's so fun. So I was really excited. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a 30... Okay, so this is labeled wrong. This is definitely not a 30 by 40. So um, that's interesting. This is, it is a 30 by 30. But there are 14 special colors. So that's probably just a misprint on there. So let us take a look at our special drills. So we'll do this, we'll save the little strip for last. So right off the bat, we have some, um, a bunch of black, right? So we have two of the same, and these are just regular black drills. These are rounds. So two big old ones. Then we have another thing of black, which is, but it's a larger size. And then we have another one that's even bigger than that. We have some red rhinestones. We have a little bit bigger red rhinestones. We have some clear crystals. We have some green. We have um, that iridescent crystal right here. And then we have like a lighter green right here. Next is the fun stuff. We have some gold. Gold crystals right here, some larger gold crystals, some even larger gold crystals. Then we have these like mother of pearl type crystals. And last but not least, we have these like special snowflake um, drills and I like little gems. And I really love those. Those, um, this is 14, I mean, yeah, it's 14. So that's the letter J. So that's gonna be, those are gonna go like on the stocking right here and then up at the top on the little uh, top of it where the candy cane is. Um, so that's a lot of fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy the special bubble round um, a lot. And I always feel like special because I can usually um, get these back in for the most part with no problem for the most part or it's close enough i just want to get these out of the way and okay well i'll mess with that later because it's taking too long all right and last but not least we have this larger um, looking package there's the Okay, so the opening is up at the top. That's over here this time. All right, so this one not only comes in the bubble mailer, but it also comes in this uh, plastic dust bag as well. I'm gonna save that. So this one we have uh, a little bit extra with a larger tray, a uh, plate of wax, a pen with a two-placer and some baggies. So a little bit of an upgraded toolkit, but then it has tape around it. So let me get my little handy dandy cutter. Okay, that didn't work as easy as I thought. Let me just get it off and it's just on there probably to keep it folded so it'd be you know compact you guys I'm still trying to figure these nails out okay. 
I'll have to get with Randy, see how she, she maneuvers. All right, let me crumple that up. All right. Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got pre-bags, drills. I like that. This canvas is very thick. It's much thicker than the other ones, but it is poured glue. I don't even remember picking this one up. All right, so this is a 30 by 40 as well. And these are, is this another, did I seriously order another mitten one? Now this, I did order, this is another mitten one. It's larger. This is a, it's a 30 by 40. This looks bigger than a 30 by 40. Do I even have my tape measure? Where's my tape measure? Here it is. We're going to measure this one. So let's lay it flat. There are 30 colors on this one. This one has a lot of confetti. I could have sworn I did a, have a smaller one with mittens. I don't even remember. This is a very glittery canvas also. It has two legends. These are regular. It's a round. I think it's a lot of confetti on this one. All right. So let's measure this. I'm going to mind your stuck. All right. So... It is, well, I have it the right way. So it is a 30 across. And it's literally like a, one little line, one little tick away from 40. So this one is actually true to size. So I was wondering why I'm like, wow, this actually looks bigger than all the other ones because the other ones, um, let us take a look. I've got it right here. Even though it says a 30 by 40, it's usually smaller and the 30 by 40 is the actual canvas size. So you can tell right here that this whole one fits inside the other one. So this is probably a 25 by 35 probably. Yeah, it's a 25, the drilling area. Whereas this is a true size uh, 30 by 40 drilling area on its own. But let me show you guys how the symbols are very, very clear. Um, I, um, I'm not, quite sure. I don't remember what it says on here. There is no thumbnail. Um, I don't know how that's going to come out. I think it says the season's warmest pair or something like that. I will go through and I'll insert at the bottom right here what it actually says when I look it up. And like I said, everything will be linked below, but I think it's going to be super, super cute. I really like it. Um, here are our drills. If you're team baggy, we have pink, black. Um, we have this pretty lighty sage color, some sage greens in here, some taupes, browns, peaches, um, some burnt orange. I really like that. Some red, but yeah, and all the drills are, do not have the DMC code on it, but they do have the number on it to where it corresponds on your legends. And like I said, you do have two. So that is it for me. Um, let's recap real quick. I did already put uh, the door hanger back in the thing like you guys saw, but we do have this one, which is our true 30 by 40. We have our retro reindeer, our retro Rudolph right here. And last but not least, we have our adorable little um, bubble round stocking. And let's measure it while we're at it just to see why it would say 30 by 40 on there. And I think, like I said, it's a, probably a misprint. So it is definitely a 25 by 25 on there. So it should be a 30 by 30 total. 
All right, so which ones do you guys like the best? Um, I'm kind of partial between the Retro Rudolph and this Bubble Round, but I really do like them all. Don't forget that you can also order um, the stainless steel uh, tips in rose gold from the site for super, super cheap. And, um, you know, I have never really used these that much because they were I, the ones I have are the thicker ones and I'm not really a fan of the thicker ones. I have a really hard time using them. So I'm excited to try these thin ones out because I am pretty rough on the plastic multi-closers. All right, you guys, well, that is it for me. Thank you again to DP Clubs for sending this out to me for review. I really enjoyed everything and I will definitely be back. So other than that, you guys, have a great rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you later. So be safe and be kind. Bye.